Meredith Peltier had a dream wedding in mind. <laughs> this was not it. I had waited my whole life to have this moment and this um, plan and, you know, all of the hard work that had been done was just not there anymore. 16 bridesmaids, more than 100 people coming. Aaron Marks standing next to her. It would have been a big wedding. Well, we were doing kind of a wedding weekend. So we had probably about 60, 65 people flying in. My family's all out of state. But a month before the wedding, venues started canceling. Aaron and Meredith got a bad feeling. It was probably about middle of March. Things started um, turning and you kind of got the sense that maybe it wasn't going to happen. It's also that moment of being able to, you know, have your dad walk you down the aisle or have your best friend say a speech about you or have your best friend stand up next to you. And none of that happened. Disappointed was the word because I, I wanted her to have all those feelings. Like you said, it's not necessarily the uh, groom's time to shine. They could have canceled. They could have waited until the stay at home order was lifted and everything was back to normal, but they didn't. Aaron and Meredith realized the wedding wasn't the important thing the marriage was. So it kind of went from the original plan to a smaller plan to just immediate family. And then we told family and friends to come over at like 4.30 and we did our first look and then stepped out front and we had people that were just in cars waving and, you know, people on FaceTime and people on Zoom. Family stayed at home, but still came to the wedding. The wedding photos, six feet apart. Social distancing, except when it mattered. <laughs> Meredith Marks had a dream wedding in mind, but this was memorable. This was better. This we get a picture first. <laughs> was perfect. We'll always have those memories. We'll always remember it, and, and that's what I'm really the most happy about. And I think there was something to be said in a blessing in disguise 